First off, I want to talk about a little bit of my background. Um, I have eight years of traditional Japanese swordsmanship, um, and I recently started about two years now um, training in HEMA, Historical European Martial Arts, which is um, a growing um, martial art in the, all of the world uh, internationally. He's from Thailand, I'm from the United States here in uh, Taiwan. Taiwan, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Taiwan, um, and I'm from here in um, Denver, Colorado, in the United States and he's doing a tour around the U.S. and just understanding how HEMA works here. And I train at the Rocky Mountain Swordplay Guild, or RMSG, and um, I've been training there for about two years under the curriculum um, of CSG, which is the Chicago Swordplay Guild, and my instructor, Douglas Wagner. And um, he wants, um, uh, Exile wants me to talk about a little bit about his product that he's doing, and he's been um, producing, which is EPW, correct? Yeah. And yeah, exiles <laughs> petty weapons. Yes, yeah. and what these involve and what these offer um, on the market in terms of swords itself is that I've handled quite a few of different swords, and um, be it arms and armor, um, be it uh, Albion, um, be it Peter Regenne, uh, Pavel Mach, um, many other people, and dark uh, darkwood armory as well. And in terms of two-handed weapons, two-handed swords is what I've. Um, predominantly training in. And what many of you will probably think uh, when you first see the video is this that this is a LARPing sword on steroids or that this is a foam sword or, or a foam boffer or whatever um, the term that you might be familiar with. So with that, um, that view or that lens aside, I want to communicate that yes, this is a sword-shaped object. Um, just like many of the Albion trainers and every other steel trainer because we simply obviously can't train with sharp steel swords. And sharps, um, as we know, offer a certain perspective that many of the manuals and treatises that we study um, give. Um, with this, my point being is that this is not a LARPing sword, this is not a boffer sword, this is a foam sword that has a steel, steel core, correct? Yeah. And a steel core inside of it and um, a good balance, a good weight to it, and it feels like, and it has the presence of, I'm going to stand up for a second, a presence of a real sword. And though it may not be a real sword, and the profile, of course, is a bit different in terms of angleship, this offers something that I believe that other steel trainers don't, in terms of that both, and when you're using both of the product at the same time, they bind and have a grip into each other, much like sharps would in reenacting this. And for safety purposes, many people and many guilds do not train with sharp swords, and for good reason, obviously, and I don't really need to explain why that is yeah. obvious. Um, so what this can do is not to mention the tip itself is quite safe, so for thrusting things like that, the flex itself is pretty good in terms of the offer that it can, uh, in terms of keeping the steel rigidity that it has because it does have a steel core in it. And as many of you have expressed as far as I've seen in, in videos and preferences in terms of fetters or fetters, is that you like fetters that don't flex as much. This one does not flex as much either and it's just at the tip itself. So it offers a lot of all the things that steel trainers offer are in this, in this product. and. That's what I'm just trying to make this video to present this to you. I'm not saying that this is what everybody should be using or this is the be all end all for steel trainers or things like that. What I'm saying is if you would like to have sparring equipment or sparring weapons where you do not have to use protective gear as much and be able to try to reenact some of the um, techniques that you can, which are a bit more difficult with, with heavy gloves and gambeson and things like that, you can with these. What's great about these, what I've been saying, is that this offers just enough stimulation or pain um, behind the strike and it also can give you good technique. And what's great about it is that when I'm sparring, when I sparred with him and I've sparred with these, using these, I could still execute the guard. This still gives me good presence in terms of what I can do with this sword. It has great control, great versatility, and the size of it offers exactly what I need in terms of my personal training. Um, and he can custom make different swords, different type swords, different typologies for you. And so, my statement being is, if you want a product that is safe, 
to execute proper technique that feels like a real sword, that offers you maneuverability of a real sword, and that can bind somewhat realistically like a sharp sword. Of course, you can't blandly say that they both are the same because they're simply not. But these products do offer that contact that many of us are not familiar with in our free play and our sparring. Today was the first experience that I ever could actually feel that in free play and sparring. And it was quite an eye-opener. And my point being is that these are something that you should probably have in your arsenal in terms of training weapons. Because they offer something that others don't. It's a, it's a world of, it's a sword that offers the best of both worlds in my opinion. And it definitely is something that's beneficial to whoever would try to consider these and use these. I highly recommend these, not for all of the training, not for everything, but certainly for a very good type of sparring. And they are something that I will continue using in my training and that hopefully you guys will consider as well too. So another idea, another example is the romp array. So you feed me a thrust nice and slow here. And I come in and I come down. If we had sharps, as we can go here, this would be a bind, but obviously not. What he can do, yeah, is he can go here or he can raise up, go ahead and raise up, and just cut down. Yeah, and exactly. So, and if you do that to me, go ahead and do it, um, let's see. You go to full iron gate. Yeah, yeah, and that, yeah, that's fine. And do a come out and I'll come in and you can use the rest oh, okay. of them. Okay. So here, so all I need to do is raise up. There's no bind. The bind was not there at all. It just slides out, boom. I strike him. So now, to do another comparative <coughs> with these, is that we do the same thing with these, which no, these are much lighter and don't feel and don't weigh like a real sword, in my opinion. The purple hearts do. That's my point. Being. So purple heart is better because hold steel is well, hold steel. <coughs> so again, he feeds me a low thrust. These bind. I can feel. Because of the material he's chosen, being a, a harder foam, as well as the vinyl that he uses, there is a stickiness to these swords that are offered that those don't, and that nothing on the market really offers. And so from here, false edge cut, deflection here, true edge cut down, and he's dead. <laughs> so another way is that we go into Posidona, the high guard, and we enter here into a bind. That right here, that feeling I have never felt with a trainer, a steel trainer, or synthetics. There is a significant bind with that pressure. Yeah. And I step in here. These offer a feel that I've never felt before. And the delicateness in swordsmanship I felt today sparring with these was there. I had to calculate my movements because I knew if I met into the bind and I didn't know what I was doing, he would know what he was doing and he would attack me. I believe that is, that is a, one of the biggest essence and one of the biggest points in swordsmanship is entering the bind and what one does upon receiving the bind. These help you feel the bind and help you execute technique. That's the point that I'm trying to make. So these are definitely a great product to have in, in your training for historical European martial arts or HEMA. So. Maybe perhaps my word doesn't consider too much in the sword world right now. But I'd like to think that I have somewhat of an understanding with all the experience and things and people that I've dealt with and swords and stuff I've dealt with in the past that I am I am satisfied and happy enough to say that this is a product that is something that's always been in my mind and it's kind of cool to see somebody being able to do it. So give this guy a chance. This is a really cool product. So thanks.